Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing Trend Micro Antivirus. And I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 450 samples in total. And we will be using these samples to test how well Trend Micro does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection. Even though it says protected, it is not currently enabled. Verify it here. Once enabled, we will let Trend Micro sit for a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a system scan. If there's samples remaining, we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's samples remaining after that, we will execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Before anything, let's just double check and make sure that we are up to date. Trend Micro is now up to date as well as the real-time protection is enabled. And so at this point, we're going to let it sit for a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own. Multiple minutes have passed. Let's double check our samples folder. And it looks like it is actually dropping. So it looks like it is detecting, though that may have been because I opened up the folder again. We will go ahead and just let it continue to do its thing before we run a scan. At this point, it looks like several samples were removed and we're going to run a full system scan and we will let this run until it's fully completed. Scan has completed and it looks like it found multiple detections. We have 144 samples remaining. So at this point, let's go ahead and scan the samples folder directly. And it looks like that found three. The real-time protection is enabled. So at this point, we'll go ahead and execute the remaining samples. I've been going through and executing and it's just not catching anything. We've got all sorts of stuff getting installed. So I'm going to turn this up a bit from the default setting and see if it changes anything. So I noticed the number in our samples folder went up by quite a bit because stuff is just being installed at will during execution. So I stopped and ran another scan just to see if it would catch anything and it hasn't. So at this point, rather than just continuing the nonsense of going through this list, we're just going to go ahead and restart and run some second opinion scans. After restart, I ran a scan with malware bytes, which came back positive 133 detections. After restart, we still have multiple samples remaining in the samples folder. So even Malwarebytes did miss uh, some of what was left in here. And yes, if I had continued executing the samples, Trend Micro may have picked up some additional ones, but it already missed so many that I just felt like it was pointless to continue. But I do want to add that disclaimer. Regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Watching. Hope you have a great day.